Hi and uh, welcome back to tutorial 32 in this series of tutorials designed to help you learn TradeStation Easy Language and uh, in the first part of this tutorial we created a daily moving average using intraday bars. I'm going to show in this part of the tutorial just another way of plotting a, a daily moving average on a chart and that is using actual daily bars. Now I mentioned previously that the close of the daily bar may be slightly different from the close, the equivalent close of an intraday bar because the daily bars use settlement prices. So anyway, let, just to demonstrate, let's uh, go ahead and insert into the uh, chart a symbol which is going to be the same as Google because that's what we're already using. I'm just going to go format symbol and we're going to go to data 2 here and uh, click format and we're going to change that to uh, daily bars and we'll say OK and then what we're going to do is apply a uh, a simple moving average indicator to the daily bars. So I'm just going to say OK and uh, make a little thicker inputs, so we're going to make 10 so it's the equivalent of the one that we calculated previously and we're going to base this on chart 2 so there we go, you can see the uh, the uh, indicator being plotted there but what we'd like ideally to do is see that on the main chart so just to uh, demonstrate I'm just going to change the color of these bars here just so that we can see the slight difference and this is the daily so I'm going to make the uh, up bars cyan down bars um, the purple color I'm going to say OK then I'm just going to move this whole thing onto the first chart here so if we just were to go format symbol and uh, look at this we should see that that oops, yeah, is base scaled on the right axis which is the same as the um, first now you can see that the um, the line here is somewhat similar but there are some differences so firstly let's just examine a typical close of day bar let's go for example here and oops you can see uh, the two values next to each other and you can see for example the close on the intraday is uh, 47216 on the daily 47214 um, now you could use this method of doing things um, there is one potential disadvantage though, and that is that if you were using it on a strategy you would find that you cannot use multiple data streams if you're using intrabar order generation so that could be a disadvantage of using this method I've just shown you and uh, a good reason perhaps to use the method that I described in the first part of this tutorial. So anyway, I just wanted to mention that there is another way and that is using uh, DLLs that uh, I may uh, create a little extra tutorial to explain that. Um, if you're interested then why not join our email mailing list by going to markplex.com and I would be happy to email you when I create new tutorials or programs and other such information. So now I hope this was useful and uh, thank you for your attention.